Okay, um, this video we're going to explain um, what's the conjugate of complex numbers, how we're going to use conjugates and divide uh, complex numbers. So the conjugate of complex numbers, uh, normally if you have a complex number is z, the bar on the top of the z will show that's the complex of z, sorry, the conjugate of z. Okay, or the conjugate number of that. So, for example, if you have z equal x plus i y, the conjugate of z will be um, signed as z bar. And then um, the conjugate of that is just the opposite sign of the imaginary component. So, it will be x minus i y. Now, for example, if you've got the conjugate of that is 3 minus 4i. The conjugate of that is negative 1 plus 4i, only the opposite sign of the imaginary component. The conjugate of 5 is just 5 because there is no imaginary component. The conjugate of 2i is the opposite sign of the imaginary component, so it will be negative 2i. This is here double conjugate, mean conjugate and conjugate of that conjugate will return to the same number. Now, if you've got x plus 1 times x plus, uh, sorry, minus 1, so if you multiply those two together, you will notice that will be that middle term will be cancelled out. So for example, expanding, just use their expanding skills, you get that. Now that means those two, can you see those two middle terms? Positive x minus x cancel out. So you will only end up with the square of the first term and square of the second term minus in between. So for example, in here, you've got expanding use the expanding skills you will see those two terms will be cancelled out now i square i square root of negative one so i square is negative one and because you already have a negative in here so that's why you'll end up with positive i so the difference between this one and here this one is a negative minus 1 because of this uh, but this one here because of the i square and i square is the value for that is negative 1 and that changed the sign into positive how are we going to use that dividing when you divide complex numbers you're aiming when you um, finish the dividing you're aiming the denominator to be a whole a real number okay and to we have the denominator as a real number that's why we're going to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator because any number multiplying by its conjugate the answer is always um, a real number so you're going to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator so obviously because you don't want to change the value of the fraction so you're going to multiply by a fraction that has the conjugate because there's the value of this bracket is one so you're not changing the value of the fraction you're only changing how it looks now ex expand using your expanding skills because is your expect you are multiplying by its conjugate so the easiest way to multiply is square the first term minus square the second term which is 1 so it will be 16 minus 1 and the answer is 15 oh sorry 17 minus minus 1 was 17 and then the top you're just expanding the top normally and you're simplifying it as possible by collecting the like terms and that's your answer so the answer you can see from the division that the denominator is a real number and that's what you want to aim from the division and that's why we use the conjugate.